officially straw hat season here in Tennessee. And uh, even in straw hat season, you still get a couple of days where you want to break out a good old felt uh, when the times get cold. You know, it's always been said you wear a straw hat from Labor Day to Memorial Day, and then from Memorial Day to Labor Day, you wear uh, a felt hat. And during the cold season, you wear felt. During the warm season, you wear straw. But when it gets up to about 74 or so degrees, I'm breaking out the straw. And that's exactly what it's done today. Uh, today, I have a felt American 7X hat that I'm going to reshape for a guy. Um, this is cowboy coffee, by the way. I don't think I said that to begin with. And you might be thinking, well, what does shaping a cowboy hat have to do with anything in the Bible? You know, when you get a cowboy hat, it usually comes totally unshaped. And so this hat has a really good shape on it. It's got a cowboy crown and what I would call probably a JB brown. And uh, it's got some good roll in the back. It's a really nice shaped cowboy hat, but it's just not what the person wants. They want it to be a little bit different. So usually when you get a cowboy hat, it comes completely unshaped. And then you can put the steam to it. You probably can't see the steam coming out of my steamer here. But you put steam to it, and you can shape it and mold it really like clay, however you want. That's if you buy a brand new hat. You have to get it shaped. But normally, the thing that I'm starting to do for people is they give me a hat, and they say, I've had this hat for a long time. Can you repair it? Can you reshape it? Can you fix it up? And what they think I can do is just kind of run this hat over the steam for a little bit, and just go to press it and, and bend it on it and get it exactly the way it is. But instead, what I have to do is I have to get it hot and I have to take the shape completely out. And then I have to let it sit there for a little while and stiffen back so it's eventually going to look like this. And the side of the brim here is going to be flat like this. At which point I can reshape accordingly. Now, it takes about three or four days to completely reshape a hat. And so in order to do that, you've got to get the, the first shape out where you can mold it to, to what you want. That sounds an awful lot like us. You have to, when, we, when God gets a hold of us, he has to take us completely out of the sin that we were in. Now, some of us want to continue walking around with a little bit of shape left in us. You know, we want to, we want to walk around with just a little bit of shape. But that's not what God wants. God wants to take us completely out and make us new creation. This is what God says about us. He says there's neither circumcision nor uncircumcision, but new creation in Christ Jesus. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do today with this hat. I'm trying to make it a new creation. We're going to put the steam to it here. Interesting, isn't it? That even with cowboy hats, it takes water to make new creation. So I'm going to put the steam to it here, get it nice and warm. We're going to let that melt loosen up, and we're just going to go to press it on it. We're going to get that steam going, we're going to get that felt loosened up, and we're just going to go to press on it. Eventually, what we're going to be left with is a totally unshaped hat. It takes a completely unshaped hat in order to make it what we want. You can't just take something and start bending on it because then you're going to see remnants of what it once was. And so eventually here, the hat is going to be completely unshaped. Ultimately, it's going to start looking like this. And you may say, no, well, how can that get you what you want? That's exactly what I want, because with that, I can do anything and everything that I need to do. So there's a little bit of cowboy coffee for you. It takes more than just press and mold to get something the way you want it. You may be thinking today that your life isn't where it needs to be. You may be thinking that God can't use you. You may be thinking that the shape that you're in right now isn't what God wants. And that might actually be the case. But you know what? God can take anyone and shape them into what he wants them to be. The beauty of God he is the master shaper. And if you need uh, to be shaped by God, if you want that, contact me. We can take care of that. We can study together and we can see how God can shape your life. I hope you all have a blessed day. We'll see you in the next Cowboy Talk.